What up, y'all? Darkness has fallen. The darkness still consumes us. So using what little bit of light we can, let's take a look at Twisted's Darkness. This album came out on Tuesday, the 27th of January. So, uh, you know, we've had a couple days, been listening to it. Uh, let's go ahead and drop a review. Um, for me, this album was definitely different. It's kind of it's been one of those ones that the more I listen to it, the more I'm uh, liking it, kind of things. Um, I'm not going to go on here and try to compare it to Abominations or even Wicked, which um, still stands as my favorite Twisted album. Uh, you know, each album stands on their own as their own. There's no reason to try to compare new albums to them. So uh, let's go ahead and jump into it. You know, there's the front, which we've seen for a while now. Um, this is actually just a slipcase. Um, a lot of the other people's reviews that I've been watching and unboxings, uh, they struggle to get this in and out. And for some reason, mine just slides in, you know, like a blown out fucking asshole or some shit. Uh, there's the back of the slipcase, you know, this is going to be the back of the inside. Uh, there's a really cool saying on there, on the back of here, like a little, uh, uh, maybe a monologue, I guess you could call it. I'm not going to read it. Um, if you really want to hear what is said, uh, I'm going to recommend you over to Scotty Two Balls Review. He reads it to you. So go check his shit out and uh, you'll get your monologue there. Anyway, let's go ahead and take a look at the track listings which are on here. Uh, we got Why Won't You Answer, Afraid of the Dark, In Hell, Back to Hell, Problems with Medication, A Little Fucked Up, Boogeyman, and there's actually a Boogeyman skip before Boogeyman. Uh, down here, Dr. Weasel, FTS, Take It Away, On and On, No Breaks, Seance, The Exorcism, and then it came with three bonus tracks of Breakdown, Mind Goes Mad, and A Place in the Woods. Um, by the time you take away the bonus tracks, you know, and the skits that are in here, which is the intro, Why Won't You Answer, and you got problems with medication, the Boogeyman skit, Dr. Weasel, and The Exorcism, you're left with... Uh, you know, not very many songs on here, you know, this is supposed to be a full-length LP, and it kind of makes you feel more like it's an EP, you know, listening to the album front to back. Uh, on my iTunes, or on my iPod, I actually took the bonus tracks off because I've got all three of the originals. You know, Breakdown's a little bit different on this compared to on the Get Twisted EP, and of course A Place in the Woods is kind of remixed. But the Mind Goes Mad, you know, is the same exact song. So I just took the bonus tracks off and I just bumped this. Uh, Why Won't You Answer straight to The Exorcism. So it, it's the whole album. You can get through it in like 40-some minutes. So, I mean, I can listen to it on my entire lunch break at work. And that's usually a little bit unusual for me. Um, so that's like the only disappointing thing I'd have to say about this album. Is it was shorter than I was uh, expecting it to be. Uh, the other thing I want to point out, Scotty Two Balls also pointed out, was uh, uh, Take It Away is kind of like their, their sad song that they usually have. And typically, they uh, they end off their albums with that. Um, when I get to Take It Away, I kind of feel like I'm ready to be done with the album because, you know, that's the way you're used to. And then you get on to On and On, and it's like... I don't know, because Take It, out away, uh, take it away isn't at the end of the album, it's kind of like... I have a hard time pushing myself through the rest of the album because, I don't know, I mean, maybe I'm just being picky, but uh, I do kind of wish that was the way it was. Uh, my five favorite songs, top five on here, definitely would be, number five, I'm going to say Boogeyman, just because we've been bumping it for a few months, you know, so listening to this album, it's like, it's not nothing new at this point, but I definitely fucking love that song. Uh, number four... What would number four be for me? A Little Fucked Up is number four. Um, down here is number three. Take It Away is number two. And In Hell is number one. Right now I'm really fucking loving that song. Um, you know, it's a story about, you know, Jamie tells a story about Paul being dead. Paul tells a story about Jamie being dead. And basically they journey to hell to bring him back. It's fucking awesome. So right now that's my jam. Let's go ahead and slip that right off and take a look on the inside. This artwork is fucking dope. Love it. 
Um, yeah, let's go over here. There's the CD art. Um, that's fucking dope. Kind of like an updated freak show kind of thing. I think it was uh, Juggalo9972. I probably just fucked up his username like crazy. Pointed it out that it's kind of like an updated uh, freak show. And I agree, that's pretty dope. Pretty awesome. It's very grim looking. And this right here is actually a little poster. I'm going to try my best to get this whole thing in frame without catching anything on fire, even though that lamp is enclosed. That would be uh, very heartbreaking to catch this thing on fire. You know, it's a big poster. And this poster, actually, this part right here of the poster makes me think of the actual song in hell for some reason you know it's got this part of the poster and it, you know this is the tracks down here with your credits and everything let's flip this bitch over again without setting anything on fire especially the apartment that would definitely be a bad day oh. you know it just really it expands on this centerpiece of what was the front of the the case when you have the slip cover you know it's pretty fucking cool I'm sure somebody I'm sure some of y'all are probably gonna hang that shit up I'm not it's gonna stay in the case where it belongs um, my case came fucked up dude I went to take the thing out and this busted so of course I had to pull out an extra CD case well sometimes when I intermatch the the cases this doesn't close right so in the process of swapping shit out this fucking broke right up here where snaps in so that's broke I don't know why I'm wasting you guys' time hearing me bitch this is supposed to be like fucking praise praise the fucking album I definitely think it's worth picking up if you have any hesitations for whatever reason I guess I can't really speak of anything that would push it on you I definitely think it's worth it it's new shit you know what I mean um, I know a lot of people have griped about the fact that there were a lot of skits, the fact that uh, it started off with a skit, but that's whatever, man, this is fucking, this is, a, this is a good album, it's worth picking up, again, if you have any doubts, just give it a chance, it's the only thing I'll say, the more I've listened to it, the more I'm liking it, you know, um, on and on and no breaks, like I said, because they followed Take It Away, you know, I had to get myself back into into the uh, the motion of listening to the album so the more I'm listening to it the more I'm liking it um, I don't, for some reason this is like really driving me nuts you see the way this is not lining up with the circle and mine's not the only one that's that way everybody else's is too and for some reason it's just driving me ape shit but enough of me bitching about fucking shit this album is good I definitely would give it uh, about a three and a half out of five stars if I was gonna rate it in a five star system like I said, it's different, it's new shit, and uh, it's definitely worth picking up. You know, it's available on iTunes, you can get it at Amazon, I believe Best Buy's got it. Cali Green 2 Fresh picked his up at Best Buy after doing some searching. Uh, of course, you can get it on Twisted Shop. And, uh, like I said, if you need a reason to pick it up, it's new, it's twisted, go fucking support them. Uh, they're finally doing uh, their own thing, you know, they got that Magic Ninja Entertainment, so maybe we can get rid of that. See, there I go again. I'm bitching again. Ha! All right, guys, I'm going to leave because uh, apparently I'm negative and shit. Pick this album up. It's worth it. Give it a shot. I think you'll enjoy it. I enjoyed it. I'm going to enjoy it. So thanks for watching, y'all. Peace.